Hello everybody. Well, it is Friday the 29th of January. Uh, welcome to our devotional series on prayer through the book of Judges. Now, being the 29th of January, it means tonight is our leadership summit, our annual leaders envisioning leadership time. It's the, it's the big moment for the leaders in our church. So all our elders will be there, our connect group leaders that will be there, our potential leaders will be there. If you don't fall into that category, but you receiving this devotion in the morning, you you quite clearly very serious about your faith and you are uh, one that loves the local church. And so I would uh, like to send a personal invitation to you and say, come join us tonight. It's from six o'clock to 7.30. Um, you can you can get online either on YouTube or on Facebook the way you would do on a Sunday, uh, and uh, you know you could even get the details that that are attached to this devotional. Uh, and what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to be looking at God's plan for our Europe ahead, and uh, really trusting that that you as an individual, together with us as a local church, uh, hear God together. And, and do what he's called us to do this year. Well, this year, this uh, particular chapter we're looking at in Judges today is, is Judges 18. And it's the story about how the Danites found themselves some land. They were looking for land. So what they did is they, they sent out five um, spies, if you like, into the land. And they stumble across this hired priest that we spoke about yesterday. The one who had been employed to act as a priest. And they engage with him and, and suggest to him, listen, when we take out this unsuspecting tribe and we move close by, come and work for us. It's better that you be a priest of a whole tribe than a priest of some man who's employed you. And so it's the pathetic story of a priest with bad motives who's motivated primarily by employment and money, being dragged from his place of employ uh, to be a, a hired uh, priest in another environment. It's, it's terrible. When you read the story, you think, you know, uh, our ministry should not be motivated by selfish gain. It should be motivated by giving to people and loving people and pouring your life out towards people. But there's something else I want to touch on today. It's when the spies came to this place called Laish, you'll read it in verse 7, they saw that the people were living in safety like the Sidonians, at peace and secure. And since their land lacked nothing, they were prosperous. So they came across this little prosperous valley, if you like. Also, they lived a long way from the Sidonians, and had no relationship with anyone else. Well, hello, they prosperous, but they lived a long way from their neighbors and they had no relationship with anybody else. It says that again, when they came around and gave the report back to the Danites, they said, uh, there's this community that has, at verse 28 says, they have no one to rescue them because they live a long way from the Sidonians and they had no relationship with anybody else. And so they lost their land and the Danites came and took over and they dragged their hired priest along with them. And as I said yesterday, you know, just when you see a, a story like this in the Bible, it doesn't mean God's endorsing it. He's just saying, that's what happened. That's what happened to the people in the land. And, and we can learn from their good and from their, uh, their flaws. And so quite clearly what we see here is that it's not healthy to live alone. It's not healthy to have no relationship with anybody else. The, these guys might have been prosperous. They might have, you know, lived well in the land. They, they, they might have had everything and they were self-sufficient. But they were vulnerable because they had no relationship with anybody else. God has not made us to have no relationship with anybody else, just to look after ourselves and to withdraw in our own little lager. And so that's why I'm encouraging you to join us tonight. And because we are designed to have relationship. We're designed to be in community. We're designed to be part of a local thing. 
And so I'm going to pray a short prayer when we go now. And I'm really going to be praying for the Leadership Summit tonight. And a huge encouragement for you to come and get connected. Uh, especially in this COVID time, there's a huge temptation to live in isolation, to look after your own prosperity, and, and to have no relationship uh, with the rest of the body. And so, Father, I pray for everyone listening to this today. And I pray also for our dear church, the people in our church, that, and many we haven't seen for a long time because of the restraint that has been placed on people all over the planet right now. Uh, Lord, we pray that it would not be said of us that we lived in isolation and had no relationship with anybody else. Lord, we want to be connected to your body, connected to your church, connected to the wider body of Christ, so that you can guide us and lead us into our future. In Jesus' name, amen.